All right, and then start sharing the screen. Okay, jump right into it today here. So I like this quote a lot. Every system is perfectly designed to get the results it gets. And something that you see, and we've kind of been talking about a lot with the Wolf Den, the Nice Swap Ego system, is that it's a system, you know. Um, and everything in life, we can start looking at as um, a system, you know, how all the different parts work together. You'll better be able to understand what results you're getting and that system is optimized to get those results. So if you want a different result, you have to look back through the system and see what you can change to optimize for a different result. Um, and if you kind of keep that, that broader thinking always at the forefront of your mind, how the system works, how can we change the system? How can we do something different in this system to get a different result? It's gonna make all your decision-making easier. It's gonna make your life better. Um, and it's going to really improve. And systems thinking, systems theory is a really dense topic that if you want to look into more, I highly recommend it. But beware, it is uh, something that takes some time um, to digest and process, but will do you a lot of good. And a lot of what I've been teaching through this education series is heavily informed by systems theory and systems thinking. All right, so uh, a little bit of housekeeping. Um, sleep is important. Um, I know that in the crypto world, it's pretty easy to go days without sleep or long periods with very little sleep, but that does really impair your ability to think, um, it really messes with your emotions and things like that. And so if you get into any kind of situation where emotions are heightened, you know, bad markets, fights with partners or friends or things like that, a lack of sleep can really be detrimental to that. I've been figuring that out. Well, I have to relearn that lesson often, but um, I'm refocusing on sleep right now. I suggest anybody who isn't prioritizing their sleep, it will do you more good than just about anything else you can do. Um, we had the NFT Discord server being set up, um, making sure that everything is good to go with the NFTs, with the market still being down. Um, we don't have a firm date on when that's launching, but what we're trying to do is make sure everything is in place, ready to go, so that as soon as things turn around, we can press go and have a great launch with that. Uh, again, Queen Monique is heading up all the Discord stuff, so she'll have better updates later when she's ready. And the other thing is enjoy your life. Um, you know, make sure that you're focusing on and doing the things that really make life fun for you. You know, that's the whole point of this series, you know, building a system that can help you enjoy the life that you want to do. I had a great time the last couple of weeks traveling for work, doing some photos and videos for other clients, um, getting to meet a lot of really cool people in the crypto space, um, seeing a lot of really awesome things happening. And it's fun. It's fun, you know, and I get to enjoy that because I built this system, you know, I'm working on my base case. So I know that I have certainty that everything um, is going to take care of in, in the future, you know, like on that 10 year time horizon when I want to be financially independent and not have to do, do anything I don't want to do. Like this is sitting there working. And in the meantime, I'm going to enjoy my life. I don't have to spend all day looking at charts and freaking out about a 10% drop or 20% drop in this coin or that token or anything like that. So I really hope you guys are enjoying your life. I hope you're putting the system in place so you can enjoy your life because um, there's so many great things out there. There's so many things beyond crypto that you can do, you can have fun with. And, you know, if you use the space case, if you take, you know, the night swap ecosystem, stake your Marvin, you're going to be able to do more of that. All right. Um, so today's lesson um, is going to be a deep, uh, deep dive into the wolf den and why it's such an incredible opportunity for Marvinots. I know we've kind of been a little bit more of a high level overview um, up to this point, and that's because there's a few things I want to make sure that you guys understood 
and new and internalized um, before really diving into the power of the Night Swap ecosystem, why we're so excited about it, why we partner with it, why Kyle is good friends with the Night Swap, the Wolf Den people, um, and the kind of great opportunity that creates for Marvinauts. A quick recap. You should know your FU number, you know, how much money you need to make. That is super important. Um, if you don't know how much you need, this will never work. So again, spend time, make sure you have that. You should also be funding your base case responsibly. Responsibly there. You know, I gave you guys some tips and tricks on different ways you can make more money to start adding to your base case. You know, even just putting in whatever your bag of Marvin is, pair that with b and and start building it, you know, because once you start and once you get into the Night Swap ecosystem, you're going to be playing with house money. Get more into that later, but you're going to be making house money. And what's really cool about that is it's free money. You don't have to worry about if it goes up or down right now. Like it's, it's not money that you need right now. It's not money that you've had otherwise. So all you need to do is just keep plugging it back into the system and it grows and it keeps growing. And then again, I told you guys I'm gonna repeat a lot of this stuff because it's important to internalize it. Go live your life, you know, set up your base case system, set up your strategy of when you're going to compound, when you're gonna harvest and put money into different things, and then go live your life. Go develop other skills that can, you know, further make you more money to fund your base case, you know, go do other things that you enjoy, spend time with family, spend time with hobbies, you know, whatever it might be. The market is down and it sucks, you know, it, that's just the way it is right now. Um, you know, there's a lot of bad actors being shaken out. There's a lot of people that we've found to be a little bit too greedy and, you know, it's causing some market volatility. That's part of being in a new market. That's part of being one of the first people there. It's like, yes, you get all the opportunity, you get all this upside, but you also have to deal with some of that downside, some of that more emotional um, downside that you know makes life a little bit tougher if all you're doing is saying look at the charts already all day. So go live your life, you know, enjoy it. Everything's gonna come back up. You know, this isn't forever. Crypto's not going anywhere. Keep funding your base case, you know. Great buying opportunities right now. Dollar cost average in responsibly. And then go live your life. All right, so the overview. The main things that we're going to be covering in this lesson um, as it pertains to the Wolf Den is a little bit of the background. Um, background of, you know, who's in the Wolf Den, what they've kind of done that makes me really confident, really excited about what they're building, its long-term viability, and everything that shows me it's a good project, right? Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the tokenomics and the flywheel effect that creates. Knowledge-based marketing. Um, this is this one's super important. That's something that I absolutely love that they're doing. Um, you know, really helped me inspire, do more marketing for you guys within the community um, around that knowledge, around making guys better investors too. And the Wolf Den, Nick, are doing an amazing job of that. And it's so incredibly important for creating a good long-term viable project and community. And the last thing is the real-world utility that the Wolf Den and Night Swap is creating that really helps take it, just beyond, take it way beyond crypto. It's not just a crypto thing. There's so much real-world utility that they're building that helps strengthen this entire project and gives it that long-term viability and use case. Okay. So Nick Pearson's the founder of the Wolf Den. Crazy smart guy. Um, you see a lot of important people talking about how smart he is and how much they've helped him. You know, they've got whole sections of Wolf Monios in their Discord. Um, you know, a lot of uh, very high-level business owners say very nice things about Nick. 
happens. So that that's really a great vote of confidence. When other smart and successful people are, are saying good things about them, that goes a long way in my book. Um, he's got a lot of real world success, um, you know, over 10 years in business, creating multiple seven figure businesses. And when you get into that, you know, million dollar plus revenue mark with a business that shows a solid understanding of business economics, ecosystem, building processes, building systems, you know, those more in depth pieces that are the difference between, you know, that small mom and pop shop where essentially they own their job in town, you know, and someone who's truly able to scale and build really big and great things, you know, and that success is um, apparent because he's had over 40 consulting clients over the years, helping them build out and scale their business as well. So he's got a lot of experience in many different industries. He gets to see how like the business world as a whole works. You know, he gets to see how these different things that he's doing, whether they hold up or fall apart in different industries. You know, and you bring all that back into the Wolf Den ecosystem at Night Swap. He has this real world experience where he's been there, done that, and knows how to apply different ways of thinking, different strategies and things like that to ensure his projects continue to grow and continue to do the right things. And on top of that, with all of this success in business, it gives him access to some really good, smart, high level people. You know, having a network of high level, successful, wealthy individuals um, just helps promote the project really far, you know, because these are people who are looking to continue building long term wealth. They're not, you know, pump and dump investors who are just trying to make a quick buck because they know that they can make way more with a system that generates long-term gains. You know, these are people that really understand the power of compounding, the power of long-term investment, things like that. So he's building this ecosystem and getting his friends in here who already know, like, and trust them, and they're holding their money in here, you know? All right. And that helps, you know, reduce a lot of the volatility of, you know, what we see in some of these crypto projects. Obviously, there's still going to be some. The market does what the market does. Um, but if you look, um, as of April, end of April, they have something like 85 or 89 percent of their guard locked. You know, they keep in different raids, farming pools, things like that. So the people who own guard are planning to hold it for the long term. All right. The live event is um, get more into this in the real world utility, but this idea of bridging the digital and in person is really important. You know, they've got a few of these that we'll get into later. Um, but having these real world things attached to the crypto space gives it that extra like solidity, you know, it really solidifies how this is working. Um, and what's really cool is, you know, like with this Wolf Summit, um, Wolf Zen, the different thing, the different events that they're doing, they put the profits back into the Wolf Den. They use it to buy guard and things like that. So it's not something where Nick is taking this money or the team is taking this money and, you know, spending it like, they're using these in-person events to then go back and um, improve the crypto, you know, the crypto side of things. So it becomes this kind of cyclical flywheel cycle where the more these take off, the more people that get into the Wolf Den, the more people that attend these events, you know, the better it does for the Wolf Den, you know, the more, the more buying power that they have within the Wolf Den and the stronger it solidifies that. So that's super cool. That's really awesome. Um, I'm going to erase that because we're going to get more into that when we get into like the real world utility. Um, so advisors, um, you know, this kind of goes back to Nick having a really strong community of highly successful people that he's worked with, that he's helped, that have helped him over the years. He's got some incredible advisors uh, here. Um, Dan Nicholson, he uh, is a CPA. He owns a top 10 
mid-tier CPA firm. That's impressive. You know, this is CPAs, they know their numbers and they know money. You know, if this guy's advising the product projects, like he probably knows a thing or two. You know, he probably knows how to make sure that the economics work out, that they're doing the right things, right? Top 10 firm, so he's probably got a lot of great clients. You know, he's got a lot of people that would likely be interested in getting involved with a wolf, wolf den, getting involved with guard and knights and night swap and everything like that. All right, so like these are really huge. And this is a guy that's, you know, helped make sure the wolf den is great. Uh, he also is the founder of CCA and Certain to You. Um, essentially, this is a business course that teaches business owners how to better handle their money, better invest their money, and grow their money. And a lot of the education, a lot of the train that, you know, Nick is putting out for the Wolf Den, for Night Swap, that I'm kind of disseminating down to you guys, um, is based on things like that. So again, it's this flywheel effect where everything is kind of going back in to itself to create a bigger and stronger system. Dr. Jeff Spencer, he is a sports medicine doctor, you know, has his MD. He was an Olympic cyclist, um, competed in the Olympics. And then since then, he has moved into more um, helping people reach, you know, their highest potential, their highest level. And he's helped um, other athletes achieve 40 medals in the Olympics and other world events. So the guys know what he's talking about, you know, works with business owners, um, other top one percenters, helping them make sure they've got the right mindset, thinking the right way, you know, they're being able to check themselves against their emotions and poor decision making. So you've got this guy in here that's helping ensure that Nick, the other people on the team, and when he comes in for different events and stuff like that, that everybody that's involved with the Wolf Den is able to think better, think more clearly, and make good decisions for their lives, which by, um, you know, by that connection then makes the Wolf Den better, makes the Night Swap ecosystem better. And then Randy Messingale, I don't know a ton about this guy, uh, but he's a successful business owner. I mean, he's a senior advisor to Bill Gates in the 90s, you know, when Microsoft was really taken off and blowing up and things like that. So again, another person with high level business connections, worked with high level business people as part of the project and ensuring that everybody in the project is achieving the best that they possibly can do. You know, so all of these influences, you know, these are what's influencing Nick's thinking, the people in the Wolf Den, and anybody who comes to any of these in-person events, like that's incredible. You know, that really strengthens um, my resolve for what's going on here. They have the right people in place. And like we talked about last time, like having that proper team, having a good team is so incredibly important. Uh, the Night Swap decks, they made their own decks, right? <laughs> Like these, these guys went so far out of their way that they actually like create a BSC DEX. And, you know, not many people are creating a DEX out there because it's hard to compete with the big guys. And they're like, no, like we want this thing for, you know, support the base case. So we'll make it ourselves. So they invest in that, create this DEX, and now they have control over new projects that come in. You know, so they use the same sort of thinking that they have with Crane, Knight, Guard, this whole ecosystem when they're deciding whether projects should come into their decks or not. You know, Marvin got taken in there. You know, that's a big vote of confidence for Marvin. These guys are when we put it on there. And they have other decks, or excuse me, other projects that are constantly coming in to the ecosystem that are good projects. I haven't done a lot of research on the other ones yet. Um, if you guys want to check those out, tons of resources and things like that for those, feel free. But having all these new projects coming in helps strengthen that Knight Dex token where more people are using that. They're gaining that, they're restaking that. So it's all 
all these other projects that are coming in. It's not just, you know, the Wolf Den, you know, it's not just Martin, but it's all these other projects. They're coming in there and bringing their communities with them, you know, bringing their liquidity pools with them and bringing their investor money and stuff with them, all getting into this ecosystem and moving that money, playing with that house money to can you continue growing their investments. So you're getting this really great community, this really great synergistic thing. But like I said, you know, all the stuff is that flywheel mentality where it comes back into itself and builds a much stronger system. Education and support. Um, this is really the kind of cornerstone and foundation of everything that Nick is doing here to build the Wolf Den and build Night Swap. You know, we've got the Wolf Tears. You know, you can um, buy some Wolfies and get into the Wolf Den. You know, and this is your first level that um, your Wolf Pup is your first level of access. And this gives you greater access to them. They have greater training materials. They have, they offer a little bit more help. You know, they have um, special exclusive training times that they do where Nick or one of the other team members will hop on for a half hour, hour or something like that and talk about things that they don't talk about publicly that you can't find on YouTube or Medium or different things like that. And as you ascend and, you know, get up to silver you know the dire wolf is at the top i believe but the further that you move into this ecosystem the more and more help you get from these guys the more you're able to take their knowledge and their experience and directly apply it to what you're doing so they're constantly creating better investors smarter investors people who are using the system appropriately and working it appropriately to build that long-term wealth and build a long-term sustainable project right and you get advanced take advantage of that you know when you start staking your money and putting your money in there building out your base case strategy that's something that is going to be done on the knowledge of hey as i make more i can get better with all these other people and because i have all these better people ahead of me i can use their experience and their knowledge to fast track my own growth you know, and then on top of that, you just know it's going to be a stronger, more stable system because you have a bunch of these people all moving in the same direction with these same long-term goals. You know, they actively dissuade the pump and dump investors, the day trading investors, the gambling investors to reduce a lot of that volatility in there. Um, tons of resources. I mean, you know, we've got the four lessons of the Marvin education series probably totals maybe like six hour position videos. And I'm only scratching the surface of what they put out so far. You know, I think I've personally put in 50, 60 plus hours, um, reading this stuff, researching this stuff, watching the videos, and there's still a ton more content out there. So they go so heavy on resources to make you a better investor, to make sure you understand as much of the project as possible. And they even take it a step further where they help show you how they think about this stuff and give you the tools that they're using to um, find these answers, make these assessments, make these judgments, make these predictions and things like that. So you can go back and check your math. You know, they, they say constantly like, hey, don't believe us, believe numbers, believe your own math. You know, here's how you do it. And that is such a big vote of confidence Rather than saying, oh, just believe us, just believe us, just believe us. You know, we've seen how that's worked out for some projects um, in re recent history here. Um, with the back to the wolf tiers, um, mastermind style. Again, the higher you up you get, the live in person event, they've got this great mastermind style where it becomes all of these high level business artists, these very successful people sharing what they know, sharing their experience, sharing their knowledge, helping each other out, both inside of crypto, in the real world with, you know, just living a better life, building better businesses, different things like that. So there's just tons of experience to be gained by simply being able to hang out and be in the same room and same chats as some of these people. And you can see that, like if you check out their Discord at all and jump in there, really great conversations happening in their discord um 
you know, very smart conversations with people who are discussing um, really important things about the project and crypto as a whole. So if you haven't jumped in our Discord yet, I highly recommend you checking that out. All right, now let's get into the tokenomics that they have. Okay, so Guard is your store of value token, all right? Um, think of this as kind of like their version of Bitcoin. Uh, they have the 50 million supply. Can't be, they can't make any more. All right, this is the long-term holding. As you can see, like 89% is locked in farms, raids, lockers right now. Um, they just introduced it, introduced a lending program. So I'm sure that'll lock more up for people who want to borrow out their guard. But that really shows you that these people are interested in the long-term viability and the long-term gain of guard when you have so much of it locked up and people not trying to buy and sell and day trade it. All right. They have a BSD pair um, that creates a lot of stability for guard. You don't have to worry about fluctuations like, you know, if it was with Bitcoin or Ethereum or something else like that. All of the night swap taxes and profits. Um, well, not all. Uh, it's like a two. The, the taxes and then profits from night swap are going back into support car. You know, they do that for the buybacks and things like that. So that, again, guard becomes stronger the more people. Guard becomes stronger the more people that get into Night Swap and use Night Swap. Uh, the high liquidity is really great. Um, they have just an insane amount of liquidity, which when you're talking to big in institutional investors, people with a lot of money, things like that, they love seeing that really high liquidity. That's a big vote of confidence for them. So it makes them much more attractive uh, to those types of people. Um, and then again, um, the lending platform that they just launched, I haven't had a chance to look into that yet, but you can borrow against your guard. So as you accumulate more guard, you can hold on to your guard, borrow some against it, you know, say you have $10,000 worth of guard, you know, you need to get, take out 2000 to, um, get like a new air conditioning unit or something like that. You can borrow against your guard and you don't have to sell it. And because Guard is their store of value, um, Nick is doing everything possible to ensure that creates a 70% APY base case year over year. Um, I'm still looking into like how exactly those numbers work out and what they're doing. I hope to have a more in-depth lesson on that. But I think it's pretty cool that um, he's putting pieces in place, doing the right things to ensure that this keeps increasing value, whether it's through you know the token appreciation or the um, percentage payouts that you get from far farming your guard BUSD pair. So that's awesome. Now the Wolfies, um, that's their primary currency. So the, the main thing with the Wolfies that I think is really neat is that they're designed to absorb the volatility. You know, so having this three token system allows them to use Wolfies to, you know, buy into the different Wolf um, live events, you know, whether it's the Wolf Summit, um, use Wolfies to get the NFWs, the non-fungible Wolfs, their version of NFTs, which gets you greater access into the Wolf Den ecosystem. You know, like I say, moving up to Silverguard and Dire Wolf and those kind of things. So when they're having big events and a lot of people are buying into that, moving that, the Wolfies token, that might get a little more volatile because the buy and sell pressure is changing, but it doesn't affect guard. You know, let's guard be stable. Um, the other cool thing too is the tax on the Wolfies goes back to guard at night. So as there's more transactions and more things happening with Wolfies because of an event coming up or anything like that, um, that help, you know, that volatility 
funds and fuels guard at night more. So that's pretty cool, pretty interesting, pretty ingenious. Uh, like I said, keeps cell pressure off night guard. And then they do have a burning mechanism. Um, and what's cool about that is you have to reach a certain level of inside the wolf den. You have to get to a certain wolf tier. And then they let you vote on if they should burn wolfies or not. And what's even cooler about that is they give you the two options and they also give you some second, third and fourth order um, outcomes that are possible from, you know, hey, if we burn it now, this could happen, then this could happen, then this could happen. If we don't burn it now, this could happen, this could happen, and this could happen. So it gives you a deeper look at you know, the ramifications of your vote and creates a much smarter voting system and much more knowledgeable people on, do we want to burn right now or do we wait? And then night swap is the dex token. So whenever you put something in one of the farms, one of the raid pools, things like that, you're always going to get paid out in the night swap token. Um, they don't have a max supply on this. Um, they do have the emissions to support farming and then burning. Uh, basically, what this is to do is incentivize keeping liquidity high. You know, as you get paid out at night, you can put it back into different pools, different raids, things like that. Um, they can reduce emissions or increase emissions. So, you know, there's um, different emissions multipliers depending on which farm or pool that you're going into. That again incentivizes people to um, keep their night in the system right now. And obviously, as more and more people get in there and the TVL increases, you know, some of these uh, emissions and emission multipliers will go down to keep that system stable. And they do do um, burns with the night swap periodically, a uh, similar kind of thing with the tiered system getting into the wolf den ensures that there is a certain level of knowledge and investing prowess that you have um, before you're able to vote and make decisions on that, which I think is really cool because it shows that you have to be invested and knowledgeable about the system before you're making decisions on how the system should run. Instead of just letting anybody in off the street who hasn't done the research, you know, it's just like, oh, let's burn them so I can get a quick pump and sell. Like, no, it's, it's not what they want. That's not what they're trying to go for. And yeah, like I said, the multipliers for the guard night, again, keeps incentivizing that stability in that system, building up more of that liquidity, make it more attractive to larger institutional type investors, okay? So, this flywheel effect that this creates. So first off, they have the real world businesses that are you know, building treasuries. Um, we'll get more into that in the next section here. Um, but you have these real world businesses holding, creating liquidity, using the lending platform to borrow kind of decouples that from the crypto world, you know, because you have these businesses doing real world things that aren't necessarily affected by or influenced by. Um, Kurt, I will, uh, yeah, we can take a, a quick little side. Um, actually, I'll, that'll work into all of this. I see your question. How does Marvin come into play with the Night Wolfy Guard ecosystem? Um, So with the Marvin, um, it's kind of like your your entrance in the system. You know, when you have your Marvin bag paired with BNB, and you start producing nights. All right, so that gets you into the system. So now, um, you know, especially like right now, when the whole market's down, when altcoins have really taken a big hit, you know and everybody's just saying they're holding, now you can start making money with your Marvin, all right? Um, and that's something that you can throw back into the Marvin raid pool, you know? So you can stake your night, start producing even more Marvin. And again, that just becomes this flywheel effect there. So 
when markets turn around, Marvin starts to shoot back up, you know, you have an extra 30% more Marvin, 50% more Marvin, 100% more Marvin, you know, depending on how aggressively you want to put your money in there. You know, the other option you have then too is you can start moving that into the guard the USD pair and auto compound that. All right, so now you're building diversity as well. So now that Marvin, uh, that Marvin that you already have is now becoming less volatile because it's producing house money that you can now put into guard and BUSD. Now, so as guard goes up, you're gonna make money that way. And you're going to hedge against that risk too with USD by having that stable pair that is creating an accumulation there. Um, now, if you don't want to auto compound it, you know you can also take, take some of that. Um, there's a non-auto compounder one where it will produce ninth again. Let's get a different color that will be better. So your guard BSD pair, if you don't auto compound, will produce night. And that night they can float back into building your Marvin bag, or you can have it produce more night. Um, you can do it straight being or straight BSD. Um, you know, there's a bunch of different pools. There's a bunch of different projects uh, within the ecosystem that you can start to invest in, be involved in that will um, help diversify your portfolio, you know, help make you um, a better investor in so much that like, you're not worried about any one thing falling off because you've got these other buckets that you're putting your money into. You, know, you should never have everything in one place. It's good to diversify. Um, how you diversify, totally up to you, you know? Um, but you're looking, but Marvin is kind of your entrance into this system. You know, it's your, your golden ticket to get in the door and start reaping all these benefits. I hope that made sense, Kurt. Um, if you have any more questions on that, feel free to drop them in the chat or anybody else. And I will <clears throat> answer those as we go along. Um, but yeah, back to the, the flywheel effect. You know, these real world businesses building treasuries, you know, buying into guard, putting their money into there. And these are businesses that, you know, do any number of things are outside the crypto world. So they're less affected by the crypto markets. You know, they're still going about their daily business, whether it's, you know, a commercial window cleaning business, you know, could be a real estate company, anything like that. Um, so you have that come in there. You have the Wolfies or the three token system that I talked about where you've got Knight for asset accumulation. You know, you keep printing that out with your Marvin EMB pair. You know, that's, uh, I've got my Marvin, pretty much all of my Marvin staked in the Marvin BNB pair. You know, I just keep producing Knight, keep producing Might. You know, I've made a few grand since we started this, even with the market down, you know, free money you know, free money that I can do whatever I want with that I don't care what, what's going to happen because I'm just putting all this in for the long term. All right. And then as it collects, it goes into guard. You know, guard becomes that store of value, that store of value token. Yeah, so you don't need to ever sell your guard, borrow against it, you can use your knight. Uh, um, as you produce more knight, sell the knight, invest in other projects, sell those projects, and you never actually have to sell your knight or guard to continue making money. You know, you can sell, you can put your knight into Wolfies, start accumulating Wolfies, and then sell that. Um, again, there's the single raid pools that you can stake your knight into and start producing um, rewards in any number of projects. So that gives a lot of staying power and holding power for these two tokens. You know, again, because Marvin's part of the system, you don't have to sell your Marvin to take profits on Marvin. You just keep it staked and you keep printing night. And when you need something, you know, when you need to buy something or you find another project that you want to invest in, now you've accumulated all this night 
and you can sell that and hold your Marvin bag. So if you're still confident that Marvin's going to keep going up and up and up, you know, you don't necessarily have to take those profit profits, you know, and suffer that impermanent loss of, you know, Hey, I just sold a million Marvin or 2 million Marvin. You hold on to that. And all you do is sell this night that that Marvin is producing. So I hope that makes sense as far as, you know, getting to that flywheel and getting into how Marvin plays into all of this. Um, and now we're getting to the real world utility. Okay, so this is one of the coolest things in my mind. Um, one of the things that I'm most excited about with um, this community and the Wolf Den is they have all this real world utility. All right, so they have people who are investing in this for the Wolf Summits, which is kind of their big, like, kind of conference type of thing. Um, Wolf Sen is a high end retreat, you know, for people who want to vacation, get off the grid, stay in a nice, beautiful place, um, things like that. So they have, they have the retreat, they have this real world retreat that people use Wolfie's Guard to buy into this and the profits of that go back into the ecosystem. Um, Clear Arizona. Um, so one of, uh, good friend, Nick slash, like they put a lot of guard, um, they bought a lot of guard as a treasury asset and they bought a city in Arizona that they are renovating and turning into their own city. And guard is a big backing of that. That's what, you know, the treasury is in. Okay. So these people are building a city based around the wolf den and guard. That's pretty cool. Uh, Wolf Saw is a game that they're creating. So again, they're going to be capturing the um, gaming industry. And people like to play games that will be using the Wolf Den, probably Wolfies, um, to play this game. You know, and all the profits here um, are going back into Copping Guard. You know, making money off of that. Um, so creating that real world utility helps bridge that gap for getting new crypto investors into this space you know when they can see hey i'm going to go to this wolf summit i'm going to learn from really experienced business owners really smart people and oh by the way there's this whole deeper thing in the crypto world that we can show you how to do now people with bigger networks bigger net worths much more wealthy things like that have this really kind of safe and comfortable way that they can onboard into the crypto world. And they might not have ever done that without having some of these in-person events, these in-person things. But even besides that, simply having these real world experiences that are really cool that people are willing to pay for using the night swap ecosystem, that makes it so much more powerful. Because that's one of the things that we're really starting to Kind of butt up against and that's one of the big problems that the crypto market is trying to solve right now is how can we start using crypto to buy things in our everyday world you know like nfts are great having cool skins um and characters in games is great but when can we start using this and you buying like real world experiences like that you know this is doing that uh, business growth um, like I said, he's got a lot of businesses that are using it for their treasure as a treasury asset. Um, they have a whole page in their night swap um, white paper called Spotlight, where they just have, I don't know, let's see, eight, 10, 11, like 15 businesses that are already using the night swap ecosystem as you know means of payment treasury asset different things like that they just introduced a lending platform where you can use guard to borrow against so again like even if you need to make a bigger purchase you know buying a house things like that and you have say a million dollars worth of guard you can borrow two hundred thousand dollars against that without ever having to sell your guard so it's just another way that they're helping people keep their guard as that long-term store of value and, you know, removing that sell pressure so that like it 
you know, it's a more scarce resource, you know, with 89% of it locked up, there's not as much to go around. And that's going to help increase the value of that over time. And then one of the most important pieces is knowledge, networking, access, and experience. You know, by having all these in-person events, by having the connections that Nick does and his advisors and other team members and everything that they built, they have an incredible group of really smart people to network with, you know, to help build each other's businesses, you know, to help do um, different things, start new business ventures, stuff like that. And having that access to those people, either yourself or just in the system is going to strengthen everything. You know, one of the quickest ways to level up your knowledge, level up your life is through access to people who've already done it, you know, becoming friends with those who have already done it, learning from those who have already done it. It's just a simple matter of talking to them, having those conversations. And they end up usually telling you like, oh no, you just have to do it this way. And nine times out of 10, it works. Um, you know, I've always seen the biggest growth in my personal development with my business, with my skills coming from having access to high level people. You know, you can do, you know, the best way to do that is by networking when you all have the shared thing in common, you know, getting access to some of these people outside of Wolf Den might be impossible, but because you're all part of Wolf Den together, you have this thing that you can kind of already in common and you talk about, and they're like, oh, you like this? I like this. Let's talk more. That's really cool. Um, and again, that knowledge coming from experience means way more than, you know, most of the blogs and books and things out there where people have just theorized and pontificated and things like that. Um, so getting that access to the experience of these high level people is really cool. And overall, that real world utility is probably one of my favorite parts about the Wolfden ecosystem. I mean, despite everything else that Nick's doing, how smart he is, the connections he has, being able to bring more of that into the real world and bridge that gap between crypto and, you know, in-person stuff is a huge next step for crypto and the fact that he's thinking about it and working on implementing more of that stuff really shows that long-term vision and um, makes everything just that more solid in my mind. Um, and that is all I have for today. I was trying to keep this one a bit shorter, but I still Putting up on that hour mark here. So I'll leave it open uh, if anybody has a few questions on that. Um, but I think this is a really good recap of why I'm so excited about the Wolf Den Night Swap, why we partnered with them, why it's so cool to have Marvin in there that you can get, you know, start getting the night tokens by staking your Marvin BNB. Like I said, most of my Marvin bag stake in there alongside BNB so that I've been producing night making money despite the downturn in the market. You know, this has been just fine for me. Would I be making more if it was higher? Sure, but I'm still making money, not doing anything. So if anybody still has questions about why you should be getting into night swap ecosystem, things like that, feel free to throw them in the chat. And um, I'll give it a couple minutes to answer those. And otherwise, we will reconvene next week. All right. I'm not seeing anything popping up here. So I will end things for today. And uh, we'll be back next week with another lesson. And as always, if you have any questions, anything isn't unclear, please make sure that you're dropping those questions into the Q&A form I have. Um, those do influence what 
I talk about what the next lesson will be. So the more feedback you can give me on where you are and what you still need help with, what you still need to understand, um, the more I can make sure those are answered for you guys and um, you're making progress, doing things, becoming a better investor, becoming more wealthy, and overall living a better life. So I hope everybody enjoyed and I will see everybody next week, um, but back at the usual time on Monday at 8 p.m. UTC. Again, I apologize for a little bit of the wonkiness here, um, but we'll get back in order next time. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your week.